Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Sketch Sunday. And as I mentioned last week, throughout the month of April, uh, Crystal here on, in on uh, YouTube, Amber over on Instagram and I are joining our friend Sandy, who is state goddess here on YouTube, for her 100 um, sketchy videos. So Sandy started in February with Follow a Sketch February. She joined us all the way through March with uh, 30 Days of Sketches. And she is now continuing, I believe it is through May 10th, with um, a video a day using a sketch. So that's 100 sketches, 100 layouts, and 100 videos. Wow. So I will have obviously of course her channel link down below but also her facebook group because she posts the sketches there in advance so if you want to play along um the sketches are posted there and if you do play along uh please 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 tag uh tag crystal tag me tag amber um either here uh link us up to a video if you do videos or tag us in facebook and Instagram. So this week's sketch is from Altenew, which is fun because I don't think I've ever used the sketch by Altenew. So that's different and it's fun. It, it seems to have been a challenge of theirs. It was challenge number 16. And you can see that with their sketch challenge, they seem to put a color combo. Now I didn't follow that, although now that I actually look at my layout, I'm, oddly enough, I'm not far off. Well, isn't that serendipitous? There you go. So I used my Sunkissed collection, the Cocoa Vanilla Sunkissed collection. You saw that on my layout yesterday and today. So that collection now is broken into. I've used it so it's no longer new and I don't have to do any kind of hoarding. Now you can see on the photo, on the sketch I should say, that there were three small photos sort of in a bit of a film strip and that's, I did not do that, I really just used the one photo. Uh, although it sort of I find gives a little bit the same effect and this is just a photo in the spring of the cherry blossoms or is it apple blossoms? I can't, I can't remember and I can't really tell from here. I think it's cherry blossoms. Um, and this is just a street that is parallel to me and it's a street that I walk down every morning when I go meet uh, my nephew who picks me up. But I like to walk and meet him where we pick up some fresh bread every morning at this at uh, a lovely little um, bread maker here in town and I like to at least walk to meet him there. It's about a 10 minute walk so it's 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 not a lot but on days that it's nice out I like to walk to meet him and there are quite a few. There's some apple blossoms, cherry blossoms, lilacs along this street. I live in a very old neighborhood um, in the sort of little center um, of our town which we call the village. So uh, older homes um, and therefore a lot of established trees and gardens which are lovely to see. So rather than use the circular elements, therefore, on my layout, I decided to get the ephemera, the cocoa, the sun-kissed ephemera, the floral ephemera back out again and use that. I'm running out of that very, very quickly. I might, that I might need to get another pack or two for sure. But I also wanted to play with some sequins and I wanted to get a little shaker pocket here and I wanted to try it with vellum. Mitigated. Uh, I'm not sure. I really like the results and I think it's really because my vellum, I, I have Stampin' Up! vellum here and it's a thick, it's beautiful, beautiful to work with and to print printables on. Um, it's very, very vibrant, but I find it's maybe just a touch too opaque. I mean, in real life you can see this, but it's a very, very subtle effect and I was looking for a little bit more of a pop of color, but I'm definitely going to try this again because I've seen a few people backing cut files lately with vellum and putting some sequins behind them and it's beautiful. So I just gave this a try and I think it would be lovely if my vellum was just a little bit more translucent or transparent. So that is a circular element and then I did just pop 
uh, a viewfinder, one of the Nicole Jones 911 viewfinders up here because I sort of wanted to get that corner rounded off. And then other than that, I followed the sketch fairly closely. So I got some lovely florals in this corner up here and over in this corner. I got a couple of them popped up on foam. And uh, then I got my title down, May Flowers, because as I mentioned yesterday, I'm really trying to do a little bit of a series. So I will probably have an April Showers uh, over here, but I wanted to get, I want to get a little bit of an album about our weather patterns up here because I'm realizing that they have changed and morphed so, so much in the last 20 or 30 years. And that may continue. So I don't know that anybody will ever look at my albums when I'm gone, but in case somebody does, then I will have recorded um, sort of the differences in our patterns. I just thought it would be fun. And it's something I enjoy, you know, thinking back on because, you know, yesterday uh, or the day before, like all week, we have had like 20, 20, 21, 23 degree weather on Friday. We had 24 degrees in my area. That's Celsius which is 15 degrees or at least 13 degrees higher than it should be at this time of the year. And that was April 9th. And I remember, I think it was maybe, was it in 2000? Um, no, a little bit before that, maybe 1997, 98. Anyway, I don't remember, but I also remember having um, a sort of century uh, snowstorm on April 9th as well. So our weather patterns can be very, very crazy. And I want to do a little bit of recording of that. So I got my title down, May flowers. And then I really just proceeded to fill in a little bit. I got some of these lovely puffy, puffy stickers out. I love them. They're tiny. So they're perfect little finishing touches. And I popped dotted a few of the hearts around and then the wood buttons i love wood buttons i think i might need a few more of these as well and i popped the rainbow here the star and a heart here and there you have it that is my take on this week's sketch please make sure you pop on over to both sandy and crystal's channels of course they'll be linked down below as well as Amber over on Instagram and I will see you back here again very soon. Thanks for being with me. I hope you have had and are having a wonderful weekend. See you soon my friends. Bye for now.